Syngenta has been in the business of germinicides for many years. And as an agronomic service rep in southern Alberta, I've also had many experiences with the performance, the do's, the don'ts, and the best management practices of our germinicide line. Everything from Axial to Sierra 2.0, as well as Traxos, can be managed and used appropriately with just a few of these simple tips and tricks. The most obvious weather condition that everybody looks at before going out and spraying is obviously the wind conditions. How windy is it? How much drift can we manage? Is there going to be any drift? And things like that. What's sometimes overlooked though is the impact that temperatures can have on the effectiveness of a product, especially low temperatures as we've experienced over these past number of years across Western Canada. When temperatures are low, say anywhere in that neighborhood of 5 to 10 degrees, plants will simply start to slow down their growth. When that happens, especially in the weeds, you're going to see lower performance as they're simply not absorbing as much product as they normally would. So the product is still going to be working, it's going to be doing its job, but whereas when it's nice and sunny and warm and your graminicides such as Axial will perform very well and you'll see a lot of um, senescence and you'll see those wild oats dying down in say seven days, when temperatures are cool, it may be 10, 12, it could be as much as 14 days when you're going to actually start seeing some fairly significant results. In order to make the most out of the graminicide that you've purchased, I can't stress how important water volumes are. In a lot of cases where we've seen incomplete control, poor performance, maybe a little bit of crop injury, is where just not enough water was simply put down with that chemistry. Spraying with a higher water volume not only will guarantee that our products will be as safe as possible, they are in fact where we test all our products. Syngenta graminicides such as Axial, Sierra 2.0 and Traxos are tested and registered for the use with 5 to 10 gallons of water per acre. With these higher water volumes, you're not only going to get maximum coverage over your crop, over your weeds, you're also going to get good canopy penetration. So if conditions have turned a little bit sideways and you perhaps are spraying a little bit later in the year with a healthier, heavier crop, these higher water volumes in conjunction with good nozzle selection will allow you to penetrate that canopy and get excellent coverage on those wild oats that could be hiding down below the level of the crop.